Today I'm going to be looking at Intel's next unit of computing device, the Intel NUC 6. Now this is the i3SYK model. I bought this for 450 Canadian. The SYK model is limited to only M.2 flash storage. Now this comes in two flavors, the SYK and the SYH. The SYH model can support up to a two and a half inch solid state drive. So you can buy one of these in an i3 or an i5 model. Intel also offers an i7 model, but that comes in a different form factor. It's a little wider, it's dark, and it has a skull on it, which is pretty cool. Um, I think if you're gonna want a gaming PC, you should get something nice and big, like the guy I have over here. Now each version of the device, the i3, the i5, and the i7, they all include an Intel Iris graphics onboard display adapter. This one comes with the Intel Iris 520, the 540s for the i5, and I'm not sure exactly what the i7 has, but again, I still wouldn't use it for gaming. It can do basic gaming for you know older games, but I still wouldn't suggest you use it as an all-in-one gaming solution. These can take up to 32 gigs of memory. In my build, I'm only using eight gigs of flash storage. Um, that should be good enough for YouTube, Netflix, just for you know basic browsing and what I'm using this for. So Intel is very specific on what type of flash storage and memory you can put in these devices. Definitely go check out the Intel website or the Reddit forum for Intel Knox. There's lots of good advice there. Okay guys, this is the fun part. We're gonna actually put in the memory and the SSD storage. It's nice and easy, just four screws at the bottom. As you can see, you have the two slots for the memory and the one slot for the storage here. Again, I'm just using one eight gig stick. This is DDR4 at 2133 megahertz. You have to angle it into the slot, get it at the right exact angle. I kind of had a little bit of a hard time, but eventually I get it. Not bad, you hear a little snapping sound. You press down and the clips go in. All right, so the next part of the build is gonna be inputting the M.2 storage. Again, the SYK model only supports this type of flash storage. Um, the SYH supports the two and a half inch solid state drives. You can either put in a 22 by 42 or 22 by 80 length flash storage stick. I'm using the longer 22 by 80 storage. Um, there wasn't any reason other than the fact it came in 256 gigs and it was cheaper. So as you guys can see, it's just one screw you take out, put in, um, and then you're good to go. So now that we've installed the memory and the storage, before we close up the NUC, I just wanna go into the BIOS, make sure we see the amount of memory and storage correctly displayed in here. I also went in and adjusted the internal time and made sure all the other boot configuration options were set up and configured properly. So I've saved my settings, rebooted the computer, it's gonna boot up and it's gonna look for a drive or a disc that has a boot partition on it. I don't have anything plugged in here right now and this is actually the right screen you should see because the storage doesn't have an operating system installed on it. I ended up downloading and installing Windows 10 Home. I got it for 149 Canadian. So I've installed Windows, I put the NUC back together, I've brought it downstairs here to my home gym. And this was the main reason I got this small form factor computer. It was so I could slide it in here, it would not be big, not be in the way, and I could run this application called Zwift. It's a cycling game fitness application. Um, I might do another video on it later, but it's awesome. So I'm running Zwift here, I'm going through Netflix, I have some web browsing as well, and the computer's totally capable. So I've been pretty happy with it for this use. So guys, thanks for watching my review on Intel's Ultra Compact Form Factor PC. This is the NUC 6. Now there's a bunch of things I love about this device and a few things, specifically the price, which I don't like about the device. So let me start off with the good things. The first thing is that the size of it is amazing. It's super small, it's versatile where you can place it. It also comes with a monitor mount, so you'll be able to mount this on the back of a monitor where it's possible. The fact you can upgrade the device, so you can swap out your RAM, swap out the hard drive. Again, you can only use the flash storage for this computer. Um, is awesome. A lot of times with devices this small, everything is soldered in. You cannot swap those out or upgrade as time goes on. Now, the other thing that's great is it's super quiet, it's ultra low power, and there's a lot of inputs here. So you can have 
up to two monitors plugged in and a bunch of USB devices, which I think is great. Now I wanna talk about a few things I did not like about the device. The biggest thing was the price. All in all, I was about $750 Canadian for the memory, the storage, the NUC, and the operating system. From what I've read, Intel now only allows you to install Windows 10 on this chipset. I tried installing Windows 8 and it failed every time. It would kind of blue screen halfway through the installation. So I did have to spend $144 to buy Windows 10 specifically just to use for this device. Um, you know, some people might not be happy with that. If they have an older version of Windows that they want to use, you won't be able to use it with this device. Again, for $750, you could probably get an i5 processor, a standalone GPU, albeit a larger case and a larger form factor. So if you're looking for something small, compact, I think this is gonna be a great device for you. The other thing that kind of annoyed me was the top finish scratches super easily. There is a big market out there though for third party um, tops for these cases. You can get some pretty cool designs out there. So that's another really great thing. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please hit that like button, subscribe for more videos, and let me know below, are you guys interested in getting a NUC? Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.